y'all. I uh, appreciate y'all joining us again. Nina and Josh here. We're back setting out a trout line uh, for our fall season. We don't have a whole lot of time to fish. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about why later, but we're back at our favorite little honey hole where we've caught two of our biggest fish ever. We're gonna get some little noodles baited floated down the river while we're working, and uh, I'm gonna hop up on this log. <laughs> Good. We've definitely used this one enough times it deserves to be retired. Yeah, so much for quitting by the time we got out here, huh? guys out. They've got PVC run through the middle, paracord run all the way around. There we go. Perfect. Let's get some bricks on it. That is the easiest that's ever gone, but I'm still sweating. <laughs> ah, it feels amazing out here though. It's like actual fall weather, so we know the big ones are fixing a bite. And I couldn't help but notice a couple of holes in the bank over where we uh, did anchor A, and I'm wondering if those aren't catfish holes. That's why we always put a big one over there. See if we can go three for three. Set up a feast for him. Putting a full fish on every hook. We're running once through the head and once through the spine. Well, that is that as far as the work goes. Um, we haven't really been out in the boat in like a month, so we're gonna go upriver and play a little bit. We'll come back in about 10 or 15 minutes and check on our needles. Fingers crossed. We ran up river and uh, there was not much to see and so we started just kind of drifting back down really enjoying the day the weather and uh, we've already passed two of our noodles and we're coming up on a third one here um, they just keep catching on logs that are not far below the surface so i think i'm going to shorten up the six feet of line that they each have Oh boy. Alright, we've only got one more. Um, I can see it over there and there's definitely not a fish on it. It's starting to rain again, so probably a good thing that we're done. But I wanted to tell you guys, we've only got three solid weeks of fishing. And then we go to uh, Sanibel Island for a week, so there's going to be lots of beach stuff, lots of uh, kayaking around the open ocean. Hopefully some shark fishing. We've attempted that a lot of different times and uh, it's just apparently it's a lot harder than it looks. So, But that's gonna be a lot of fun. You guys will see the dogs partying out on the beach. Um, we'll be there for a full week. So um, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm counting down the days wholeheartedly. But when we come back, we'll only have one more week before Barron Green and Nolan River Lake all start letting out their summer pool to winter pool, which means this whole river is going to be about twice this depth and it's gonna be really, really hard to pull lines because there's gonna be so much current and so much weight. So we have like, 
three weeks to fish until winter pool, which is going to put us sometime in November, maybe December, depending on how much rain we get. So this is it. Like the pressure's on. I can feel it. Can you feel it? I feel, I feel it. it. It's all over me. It's like pushing my it. shoulders down. So three weeks. Got three weeks to fish. We're going to do this. And... Oh, broke. Wait, what? I think it's broke. No, we just replaced it. Yeah. Is it the spring? Uh oh. I think we're stuck. Well, maybe not. <laughs>